Okay, welcome to the second part of uh, Hades Omega uh, Nomar Tire Paste uh, Tire Lubricant um, kind of review type thing. Okay, so we're going to try it out on this Michelin Pilot Street Tire. That's on my Soron Light B. It's a 908017. This thing is a real pain in the foot on it. <laughs> it's, really, it's really freaking small tire. Um, the smaller, like I said, the smaller they are, the harder it is to install, actually. Um, so there you go. Okay, so uh, we're going to do it the same way that we did the uh, the Shinko 805 Adventure tire, okay? But we're going to do it on this tire. I'm just going to apply it like it's a paste, okay? Oh my god, it's so, so kind of stringy, you know? If you don't have a tire paste, can use Windex, okay? That's what I, that's what I normally use. But I'm trying this Nomar tire stuff out, the tire paste, and uh, see how it works. It sure made the Chinko tire a lot easier to install. Most of the tire right there. It's, it's kind of gro it's kind of gross and stuff. Um, <laughs> okay. So we will do a, we'll do another video on the tire spray. We're gonna make some tire tire lube spray. So we don't have to apply it like this. We just spray it on. Okay. Okay. That should make it super duper easy to install, right? <laughs> Let me go wash my hands real quick. <laughs> the good thing about this stuff is it doesn't dry right away, like Windex. Okay. All right. Okay. So now that we got our tire all gooped up, let's put this tire back on. Okay. So there's no particularly, uh, there's no real area to really need to start with because uh, we don't have a rim lock. So, um, so just have at it. Be careful not to um, pinch the tube. So what I like to do is start with two. Try not to scratch my rim too. Um, to what, a way you can prevent your rim from getting scratched is to peel the peel the tire back a little bit and then stick the um, tire iron in. Don't don't let it slide in there. Okay. Just be careful not to pinch the tube. I don't see it in there, so. Okay, and then don't take your third one. Okay, then this one will come out. Maybe you can just press it. Let's try just pressing it on. Trying out this tire piece. You could just press the tire on with, with the tire loop. Oh my god. No way. No way. <laughs> I think I don't even think I put enough. I don't. I, if I put more on there, it'll be even easier. So. Look at that. That's crazy, right? So you could literally just press, press the tire on there. It depends on the tire, though. This uh, this. This mission on Pilot Street is pretty soft, okay? Ooh, okay. I think that's about as far as it'll let us do that, okay? Oh no, it's going. Okay. Okay, so if from what I remember with the other one, it's good to use two tire irons, okay? Use two tire irons to, uh, to spoon it, so. There we go. Ooh, I'm ready. Make sure it's the right direction. <laughs> okay. Get at it. When one goes in, the other one should get easier. Okay. There we go. Make sure you're not pinching the tube. Make sure you don't see any tube creeping out there. Okay.
Wow. Okay. I wonder, okay, so when we're about here, you might be able to just slip the, um, slip the bead onto the rim, okay? So I'm just gonna torque down on the, uh, on the wheel. It helps if you have three hands. <laughs> we may need to do one more. No, 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 I think we got it. I see it. Oh, boom, there it is. It's kind of scary. I think I scratched the wheel doing that too. All right, there it is. Nice, so that tire, that tire lube uh, definitely worked, okay? Okay, so, uh, so the tire looks good to go. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and, uh, so what I'm gonna do is, what I like to do is inflate it like four times, okay? Inflate it four times. So the, so the, um, the tube s seats in there, okay? I'll inflate it to like 50 PSI or something. Okay, so once you've uh, once you you're sure you got everything's all nicely seated, um, put your valve core back in. Okay, and then uh, what I like to what I like to inflate the rear to is twenty eight psi. Side. Okay, it's about 28 right there. And then that should be good. Hopefully your valve stem is pretty straight, and it is. I'm just going to hand tighten that, okay? And then we should be good to go. So you shouldn't have to rebalance it because you put the tire back where it was before, okay? Um, so now all we got to do is... Uh, Reinstall the wheel. Okay. Okay, so that was the second tire install with the Nomar tire. So this time we just, uh, I just patched the tire. So I only took one side out and I put it back. So, and it was super easy. Okay, I I literally pressed half of the tire onto the the wheel already, and then when it wouldn't go anymore, I just spooned the rest on. It was super easy. So, uh, now that tire was really soft, but it was really small. So. It kind of, it kind of evens out the difficulty. <laughs> we'll go lie. Okay, okay. So the um, the next part of the video, we're gonna try, we're gonna go make some uh, Nomar tire spray. Okay, uh, tire tire lubricant spray out of this stuff. Okay, it says to put two. Uh, which one is it? Two two tablespoons. Okay, two tablespoons in a spray bottle, and then mix it uh, with warm water until it disappears, and then. Uh, and then you got a tire spray, okay? And then we're gonna use that to install a third tire, okay? Um, but so far, I'm pretty, I'm pretty impressed with it. It is kind of nasty to work with, but it's you know it it's fairly clean, you know. It's not like it's not like you're slathering grease on your hands or anything, you know. It's if anything, it, it what it kind of reminds me of is like a like a hand cleaner or something. That's what it kind of reminds me of. It doesn't have any kind of funky smell to it, you know. It makes your hands soft. <laughs> I guess they. I guess it makes your hands soft, and and like I said, it it should evaporate. You know, over time, it it just it just naturally you know naturally works with the rubber and stuff. So so it's not going to harm your tires in any way. So at least that's what they advertise. <laughs> okay, all right. So that's the that's the second part. Uh, second tire that we've done with this guy. The third tire will be will be using it as a spray. Okay, all right. Here's we go.